Hi, my name's Al Bradley, and I'm a researcher with the Transportation and Infrastructure Group of FP Innovations. We're here today at the Jade Road, about eight kilometers north of Ear Falls, Ontario, with Meek Forestry Service, and they're the construction contractor here. Meek Forestry is building this all-season haul forest road for use by Warehouser, Domtar, and Interfor operations. Here at the start of the Jade Road, there's a deposit of high plasticity, or fat clay, that when wet, loses almost all of its strength. And being a clay, it does tend to drain slowly and stays wet for a long period. Knowing the road building challenges with this type of clay subgrade soil, status quo construction practices are pretty good but don't provide adequate road performance 100% of the time. And for this reason, the local force companies have asked FP Innovations to provide economical, bulletproof designs and construction guidance for road reinforcement technologies that will reduce gravel requirements, improve the road's performance, and minimize transportation shutdowns throughout the year. So this is an LWD or lightweight uh, deflectometer and so do we use this to determine the stiffness or strength of underlying road layers or material layers and we do that by dropping a weight on the road as you see here. So just like this, it's falling a set height and it's a set weight so it's imparting a set energy to the road. And then Francis picks up the signal from the geophone at the bottom uh, on his cell phone and that does the calculations needed to understand the strength and stiffness that this machine saw. And all that data is stored in this phone and can be retrieved afterwards. Four different roadway designs will be tried in this project. The first is about 400 millimeters, 16 inches of wheel packed pit run gravel and this is the usual sort of solution for wet sections. Then we're doing a slight improvement to that, so we're doing 400 millimeters, again 16 inches, of compacted pit run gravel with a non-woven geotextile separator. And this can be considered to be an improved version of that first section. Third section that we're doing is 225 millimeter deep, or nine inches, compacted gravel reinforced with medium strength woven geotextile and that's equivalent in strength to the 400 millimeter deep section that has no geotextile. And the fourth variant is what we we're thinking of as a bulletproof design, and this is 350 millimeters or 14 inches of compacted gravel and reinforced with medium strength woven geotextile. Corduroy, built with right-of-way logs and capped with sandy root mat material and then about six inches of gravel, would also be a status quo solution for reinforcing weak clay sections, but it's not being used at this site. We're hoping that by trialing these four design options, we'll be able to recommend to the forest companies whether they should change their practices and incorporate geosynthetics, or stick with current practices of using thick layers of gravel or corduroy. You probably noticed that I mentioned the use of compaction for building some of these sections. Compaction is not normally done in forest road construction because of the cost. However, we're planning to use it here to improve road strength quickly and to allow us to reduce the gravel requirements. Considering the cost of ongoing repairs and disruptions to wood delivery, spending a bit more up front may well be worth it. 